Hello there, welcome to Fulcrum and the Force. I'm Jim, this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. And I've got an exciting unboxing today. You've seen the title, you know what it is. This is the Ahsoka Tano Clone Wars Hot Toy. This is my first ever hot toy. I've never, first ever, like not just first new, first ever hot toy. Um, it's been on pre-order for a very long time. We I put pre-order in when it was announced July 21, and it was supposed to come out October 21. And it was pushed back because there was some... People weren't happy with the, the face sculpt, so they decided to push it back um, to redo it a bit and to bring it out at a later date. Also, you know, world problems, we've had them. So it's literally just started to make the rounds now and started to hit different places. I've, I've had a bit of a time with this, I'm not going to lie. So um, about, about three weeks ago, uh, I saw that it had been shipped. So like we got the notification to say that it was processing. We. I'd got the notification. Who says we? When they're talking about just themselves. Um I got the notification about um, it being processed and I was super excited because I was like, it's finally being processed. And then like a couple of days later, they took payment and they come up with shipped and you have to play, you have to pay uh, express shipping with when you order direct from Sideshow because um, this is direct from Sideshow. So I, you know, because I wanted to make sure that I definitely got it. So I was like, if I just get it from Sideshow, then I know I'm definitely going to get it. Because sometimes, you know, you pre-order it from other places, they don't get the right amount of stock. So I was like, I want this. I want this bad. I'm getting it from the place. So they make you pay for express shipping, which is like 50, 50 quid. This is already a £300 um, figure. So, you know, 50 quid on top of that. Things are starting to get expensive. But fair enough. I'm like, well, that's all right. Express shipping. It's like three days worldwide. Five at the most. And that was three weeks ago. And it just arrived today. Uh, they printed the shipping label, but it had never been picked up. Uh, apparently, they've had no end of problems with uh, with things being picked up at the moment. And so it took three weeks to be picked up. And then once it had been picked up, and I noticed on um, on like Tuesday that it actually been picked up it took like three days to get here so it's been it's been a time but it's here now and I'm look it's all sealed I'm not going to show my address like I did in my last video um it's all sealed I've I've not seen it in the flesh so I'm gonna unbox it now and we're gonna have a look and see what I think Whew. I've been looking forward to this for such a long time. Like, honestly. Like, I'm not... Like I said, this is my first Hot toy, so it's not like I've been a fan of Hot Toys. I mean, I'm a fan of Hot Toys. They're really, really beautiful. But there's never been anyone that I've been like, I need that, until I saw this one. And I was like, I need that. Here we go. Oh, it's an empty box, so we'll get rid of that. She's in her cellophane. Let's get her out of the cellophane. I'm so excited about this. I've been, oh my days. It feels like such a long time coming. So let's. This box is so nice. Look at the artwork on the box and there with a hood. <sighs> Let's have a look. Tease, teasy, teasy. So uh, there's another card inside here showing a bit more. Here she is. Um, I'm gonna 
Whoa, take the whole thing out of the box so I can get access to it. Now this has come. This comes with a lot of bits. There's a lot of switch outs and stuff. Um, different style lightsaber blades, different hands, um, different like pieces, and a cape. And so if you look there, so we've got in there we've got the hilts, and then like a, a moving blade, and different hands, and different port, like different ball joints. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just a little bit overexcited and beside myself. <laughs> Front piece off. Let's take off some of these because she's still wrapped in. Oh my word. Sorry, I've gotten a bit, got a bit quiet. Oh, I've pulled her hand off. <laughs> so, like I said, I've never had one of these before, so I'm, I don't really, I'm not prepared for what's going on in here. I'm all a bit, like I said, I'm all a bit beside myself with excitement. Pulled her other hand off, but it appears to be easier to undo when it's been pulled off. There we go. Put that hand back on. Oh, do you know what? How to hell with it. I, I know I'm never getting rid of this, and I'm never going to need these bits of plastic ever again. So, we're just going to rip them off so we can just get to the figure and have a proper look at all the detail that's going on in here because my, my word. Here she is, in all her glory, in all her one-sixth scale glory. Look at the sculpt, I'm gonna put it in front of my face. Look at the sculpt on her face. Oh my god, it's so good. So obviously, this is all fabric, um, plastic on, on her um, boots, armour. We've got movement everywhere. So you can, you know, get her into some awesome ooh, poses. Do you believe... Yeah, so we got lots going on here, and lots of things that we can do, that we can change, that we can move around. We've got our cloak, which is got a tiny little clasp. Oh, it, and the um, the hood of the cloak actually has wire in it, so you can properly like. Oh, and so the entire cloak, all the way down, has got wire in it, so you can properly like um, change it and display it and have it exactly how you want. Obviously, oh, like there's. Work needs to be done on my end to, to get out of the display properly. To be honest, I'm just I'm just a little bit overexcited with it all. Um, what else have we got in here? We have a base, we have an instruction sheet. That might be quite helpful. Oh, let's have a look at this instruction sheet. This is where I'm gonna be like, oh, that's meant to do that. Okay, so there's a tool in here. Now, a lot, of, a lot of you that have hot toys might be like, well, yeah, obviously, but I've, as I've never had one, I don't know this. Um, but her Montrals come off, apparently. Oh, they're magnets. 
That's a tight magnet. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's that's freaky. Look at that. And then what you can do is you can put this in and you can move move our eyes around. Because that's not weird at all, is it? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, let's put her montrals back on so she doesn't. So she doesn't look like she's out of Westworld. Look. Come on. There we go. There we go. So what else have we got in here? So we've got... We have a thermal detonator. Then a communicator. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that communicator. That's really nice. Let's get it nice and close. There you go. That's very cool. Um, then we've got some holograms. We have Kenobi. Sky Guy, Anakin Skywalker. And Yoda. Those are very cool. Um, we have, oh, there's lots going on in this and I'm gonna have to take a long time to just have a play and just change things up, and move things around to get it displayed exactly as I want. Probably not going to happen in this video because I feel like I'm going to be spending a lot of time just getting this just right. But we've got a nice stand there, obviously with their name on it. And in the back of there goes... Goes your stand, which you can then... Obviously, as far as I can remember, when looking at other things, uh, goes around. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, it goes up. So you can have it go. Yeah, that's better. So now, at this present moment in time, on my desk right in front of me is loads of stuff because everything from the box is there but there you go look goes around her waist so you can actually have her standing up properly nicely i will get her into a very nice position probably holding her her sabers one in front one behind um, let's have a quick look, closer look at her sabers and the switch out hands and switch out blades more importantly which is quite exciting so you can get some real movement to the to the piece. Oh. There we have a set of sabers. Normal and the Shoto, obviously blue because it's the end of the Clone Wars. So you can take the blade out and change it with this. So. It's like, it's like it's in movement. It's in, it's in motion even, if you wish, which is very, very cool. Um, let's, let's just quickly, we'll swap out her hands so she can at least, oh. So we've got different types of hands in here. So you got like grippy ones. I would probably say is a force hand. So it's like a balled up fist. And then we have normal, these normal standard hands here, 
which I will then put back in there. I'm going to have to keep all of these this box together. So you can put... It's going to take me a while to get used to this. Um, so that's one hand in. It's another hand in relatively easily as well. It's not too difficult. Um, I always worry about like, you know, oops, when they have the hands out and it's all like clasped, I worry about like opening the hand up too much and bending the plastic, but I guess that's kind of what they're built for. So. Okay, yeah, got that one. Is that one in? That one's in. Put this one in the other hand. That's come off. So there we go, we've got her with her two lightsabers in. It's very cool. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna have a, a bit of a play around and kind of change things up, because I think I'm gonna want one of the sabers behind behind her, like she has it. Um, so I'm just gonna need to figure out how to do that and play about with it. But obviously, if you follow me on Instagram, at Falcon Force, what I will do is I will post like I post some pictures of different poses when I pick them, and so that everybody can see what what she looks like in all of her glory when I'm when I've stopped playing about with everything and actually figured out how how I want her to stand and to display. It's going to be much better than that. I'm sure. I'm sure I can find better ways to display her. Um, you know. In different poses, kind of. I, I want her to look almost like moving, like in some kind of action. You can also have her just with the um, with the cape up and the hand holding. What well, I mean, holding whatever, really. I do believe, if I'm correct, yes. Yeah, so the the little communicator that you have has a peg in sorry has a hole in it and the holograms have pegs so you put them in there and she holds that in her hand so it's like she's talking to them which is really cool so um yeah lots to do lots to play with lots of fun to be had with a cloak figure figuring that out because it's quite high the montrals go quite high um again Lots, lots to do, and uh, and I like that. You know, it's not just a case of here it is out of the box, it goes on the shelf. I uh, I actually get to have a little bit of enjoyment and kind of sit and figure out exactly how I'm going to have her, what she's gonna, how she's going to be displayed, and uh, I mean, I haven't really. Oh, <laughs> so cool, so cool. I haven't really shown the. The uniform that she, whatever you want to call it, it's like Mandalorian version of her armor-ish. But you've got lots of mixed media here, so that's like thick plastic, and then you've got sort of thinner plastic on um, like a different type of skirt, and then this is sort of material here, and this is all material. It's really nicely done. It's like it's very very cool, very lifelike. Again, I mean, that's, that's incredible, isn't it? I, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Sorry, this has been a really long video, but I had to kind of, share my, my enjoyment of the fact that 
this is finally in my possession and I'm so pleased and for my first hot toy I'm definitely not disappointed um, I'm super pumped to, to play around with this and get it really nicely on the display um, because it's going to look awesome uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did that was fun yeah but um until next time obviously please subscribe to the channel uh like this video comment down below if you've got this one or another hot toy or if there's any hot toys you've got coming that you're really looking forward to like i have been for nearly a year and um until next time don't forget we are one with a force and the force is with us